let's just model something really quick just so we can get a bit of a concept of what's going on. I'm going to do, delete the default cube and what I'm going to create, I'm going to do shift A, cylinder. What I'm going to create is a mallet. I'm going to tab into edit mode, rotate, so R on the X axis, 90 degrees. I am going to press size, uh, scale S on the Y axis. And I'm just going to make that a bit bigger. Whoa. Let's just go probably about there. Why not? It's going to be a bit of a giant mallet, but that's fine. I want to control R to put an edge loop and I'm going to, yeah, about there. That's fine. I'm going to press alt right click to select this loop scale and I'm just going to put it in a little bit. I'm going to do a shift A. Now, when I go to add a new mesh, it'll always add at the cursor. Shift A cylinder. I'm going to rotate by R, Y, 90 degrees. I'm going to scale that up and move it across. Now, that does not look good. I'm going to do a Control L, select and Control L, and that'll select all linked data. Scale on the Y. And let's just move it down along there. That doesn't seem right, so I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. Let's bring this down a little bit. I think now I've made that a little bit too big. And this is how we can just adjust. I say we increase this size X. Okay. And so we've got a very basic mallet. So how about first what we do is we can add in a modifier bevel. I'm going to just round that off by two. I want to do it on the angle. So it's nine degrees. Okay. So we've got our bevel here, bevel here, no bevels along here. And we've got a bevel along the back. I'm going to set the shading to smooth. And there we go. A very basic mallet. Seems a little bit impractical because the handle's not long enough. So let's just move it down a bit. And that is a very, very, very basic mallet.